Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. It is not a nice day in Northern California. I wanted to do a rod review and comparison uh, with a company that I don't throw their rods typically, but a buddy of mine named Tim happens to be a dealer for him, and that is a Vexen rod. Now, in my hands right here, I have their cranking rod. Uh, it's about $140. It has the IM8 uh, blank in it, Fuji guides, 10 inch split grit handle, and it handles anywhere from a quarter to five eighths ounce of a bait. Now, I've used this for about two or three weeks on the California Delta, throwing lipless crankbaits, throwing uh, you know, regular crankbaits, uh, and it handles pretty, pretty well. And what I wanted to do was just kind of compare it to what I use. And that is a 13 ohm in black. And one of the things that I did want to look at, because I felt this rod was a little bit stiffer than my 13 cranking rod, was actually look at the action and look at the parabolic bend. So what I'm going to do is I'll highlight the 13 ohm in that I typically throw and use. And what I'll do is I'm gonna tie off two pieces of the line. They both have the same reel on it. Uh, and then I'll take a shot of the parabolic bend and the, the line from both ends of the rods will be at the same place. And I'll explain to you what that kind of really means. But uh, really no complaints about the Vexen rod. You know, it's just not, it's just not uh, full cork handle, which is something that I really, really like but uh, we'll get into that more in a minute. Now, what I throw, and most of you already know this, is that I throw a 13 Omen Gen 2. Uh, this is the cranking version. You know that because it has the cork right here. Uh, this is a 30 ton Japanese Torre blank with Alps guides. Uh, and you can see the parabolic bend right there, moderate action. The price point is $30 less. This is only 110 full cork, Portuguese cork at that, which supposedly holds up a little bit better. Um, and I absolutely love these rods. And of course, I love the reels. Uh, too bad I'm not sponsored by them. So what I'm going to do right now is, is that I'm going to tie up the ends of these lines. Uh, both of the drags on the reels are cranked down. And then I'll turn the camera and we can actually see the parabolic bend of both of these rods. And I'll explain to you on which one I think looks better and why I'd want to throw them without even seeing, well, I know which rods are which, but literally kind of, you know, give you that, my a professional opinion, if I will, on why I would choose one over the other, just on the actual action and bend in the rod. Sit tight. Okay, closer to you is the 13 Omen. Closer to me is the Vexen. I've got the rods in the same exact position, positioned in a black pack, and I'm going to show the parabolic bend. Okay, so as you can see, the Vexen rod bends down farther, meaning that there's more give at the tip, and it doesn't get stiff until down here. Whereas the 13, starts really kind of right here on where it gets stiff. Now that being said, believe it or not, when throwing a crankbait or when throwing a lipless or even a small swim bait, I would choose the Vexen over the action alone because when you're actually setting the hook on a crankbait, a spinnerbait, a small swim bait, you're not yanking it up like this, right? You're just kind of turning into it. So you want that rod to have as much parabolic action and get stiff somewhere in the middle of the rod. Now, I've always said this, 13 rods are made a little bit stiffer than most people like, but I like that because it's the way that I fish. Uh, I don't rip, I reel down. So, but given the parabolic action of the Vexen, I really do like that it doesn't really start to get stiff until farther down the line, as opposed to, as you can see again, where the tip is more flexible on the omen, 
the backbone kicks in a little bit more. It's going to make it easier to get fish out of heavier cover, but I don't know, pretty much of a tie. One other thing that's really different on both of these rods besides the action, even though they're both moderate, is that the handle length on the Vexen is only 10 inches, whereas on the 13, it's 14 inches. So I like a longer handle. It's probably because I'm bigger, but also too, you can tuck it into your side and you can swing to get a fish out easier. So which would you choose for a cranking stick specifically? Now, there's a different price point here. Uh, the components aren't that much better than the actual 13. Smaller brand, trying to grow. New brand, very well established now, been around for a couple years, kind of taking the industry by storm. But quickly, if you want to buy one of these rods or get your hands on one, I'm going to put a link down below. It's an email address to my buddy Tim. He actually sells these things. Support them. He's in Northern California. I'm not 100% sure whether or not he can ship. But uh, look, you know, I like this rod but I like this a little bit more. Thanks for watching these things. Hope it was a little bit helpful. Uh, it was really not a true comparison uh, because there's obviously some distinguishing factors that make these things blatantly different, like the handles and the price point, but uh, it is a pretty good side-by-side -side comparison. Thanks, have a great day, bye.